What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Sanchez405 coming at you. It's on the warpath. If you're new to the channel, make sure you click that subscribe button. Hit the bell so you get notifications anytime there's new content posted to the channel. And as always, like, comment, and share this video out if you can. I greatly appreciate it. Because, y'all, we are celebrating, or we might be crying, but this is a Marty party in Washington and the imminent hire of the new general manager for the Washington football team, uh, Wheaton, Maryland native, a graduate of Good Counsel High School, a graduate of Catholic University. The boy is is local as the Jefferson Memorial. That's right, Marty Herney. Uh, and and y'all, don't be surprised. I don't know why so many people are surprised that this cat, he got the job. I think a lot of these interviews were fodder and, and probably just suffice the Rooney rule. But, um, and, and, you know, you could tell right here, we're going to call this bromance Hernvera. Can we call it Hernvera? I don't know. Uh, Marnie. Maybe Marnie. Uh, but e either way, Ron gets his man. I think this was his man from the jump. Um, you know, and, and who is this guy? He started as a sports writer. So, you never know. We, we could have Ben Standick one day. We could have um, uh, John Kime. Uh, J.P. Finley could be the general manager one day of the Washington football team if they get hired in the PR staff. But, yeah, Jack Kent Cook saw him, said, come on, Washington, you can work in my PR area. And then Bobby Beffert <laughs> takes him to San Diego where they help turn uh, San Diego into a um, AFC champion in 94. Uh, he did miss the flames of Ryan Leaf getting drafted because he was in Carolina in 98 where he was there from 2012 and. Uh, his uh, first stint, and, and he hired the likes of John Fox and, and drafted. I, I mean, look, this draft, people, that's one thing that we worry about. We worry about his record. He's 107, like 133. Not good. That, that's terrible. It's below average. Uh, but look at these are some of the cats that he's drafted through his tenure there. Um, a Hall of Famer, first off, Julius Peppers, uh, at some Good players that we know, these familiar names, Deshaun Foster, Will Weatherspoon, Jordan Gross, uh, Ricky Manning was okay for a little bit of defensive back, uh, uh, Chris Gamble, Thomas Davis, we've seen him, uh, D'Angelo Williams, Will Montgomery, who played for the Redskins for a little bit, uh, John Beeson, uh, Ryan Khalil, uh, uh, Charles Johnson, who, who, who was good for a while there, Greg Hardy, who, uh, you know, is great, Captain Munnerlyn in the seventh round, who, who put a good career together, Brandon LaFell, and, and then more recently, Cam Newton and Luke Keekley. Y'all kidding me? I know uh, DJ Moore has been hit and miss. The man did, the, the man drafted Jeremy Chin, y'all. Jeremy Chin. The guy that people are salivating over? They, they thought that could hold the jockstrap in the uh, defensive rookie of the year uh, race with uh, Chase Young? He was one of them? Come on now. That ain't nothing to worry about. Yeah, he gets late. I tell y'all this all the time. The draft ain't nothing but a crapshoot. Now, we have had we have had some hits later on with uh, Kyle Smith and everything, right? But uh, could that be because... Jay Gruden might have been I, I'm not going to invoke that name. Let me stop that. Strike that from the record. Uh, but I don't know what the concern with Marty Herney is. Uh, he's coming in here. Uh, they, yeah, he, they said, well, he, he put him in cap hell. Everything that everybody is worried about with Marty Herney, other people are going to be in charge of. It's a coach-centric environment. Ron Rivera is the be-all, end-all. This dude is like the swabby on the second deck of the ship. Um, no matter what, he, he uh, and this was a quote that Ben Standick had in The Athletic. Quote, he's a very, uh, very good evaluator, can make tough decisions, a league source said of Herney. Best attribute is his ability to work with all types of people and transcend all different departments. Let's say that again. I'll read it for you again, church. His ability to work with all types of people and transcend all different departments. The man knows how to work with people. We've got a people person, y'all. After having these inhuman, cyborg, Satan-bred Bruce Allen I mean, to, to this point, I think Satan might have been better than Bruce Allen. But anyway, you know, it, it is what it is. Um, 
Guys had some good drafts. He had misses. What good? What general managers don't have misses? Um, I, I think his biggest thing is probably that he is loyal to a fault. John Fox probably overstayed his welcome in um, in, uh, in in Carolina. He he probably he was there for a long time. Uh, and, and the, you know, it just got stale. You know, it's like if you leave a bag of Lay's out after a while, they don't get the crisp. This is going to taste salty and saggy. Ain't come think of that. You, know, you don't like too many things that are salty and saggy, right? But, um, you know, so, so we need to celebrate the Marty party just for what it is. He's not going to have this overarching hand. He'll work with Eric Stokes. Rob Rogers is the cap analyst. Uh, he'll work with Kyle Smith. And, and y'all, this is... This is just Sanchez's crackpot theory here, though. Marty Herney is 65 years old, so we'll say what? He probably has, like, maybe five good years left in him um, to, to evaluate, not saying on the expiration date and everything like that. But Kyle Smith is 37, who just – he got a – he got a, a, a promotion last offseason. Maybe he's here to push him. Ron knows how to get to people, how to motivate people. We saw this this year. It looked no further than one Morgan Moses playing some of his best ball. Maybe Ron had ultimatum for him. He stood by Dustin Hopkins when he should have been cut, and he's pretty automatic down that play uh, down that stretch to the playoffs. Um. You know, he stuck with Dwayne Haskins to a fault, maybe. Um, but he he made the tough decision at the end of the day. Uh, and, 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 you know, that's what I said. Ron has earned this opportunity for us to trust him to do the right thing. He's earned that. And if Marty Herney is part of that, I'm cool with it. Um, I know that's unpopular, but it, I, I'm, I, I'm cool with it. I'll play the wait and see. I've been critical of Ron Rivera on his mixed messaging with the media and everything like that. But if this is his guy, he wants his guy, let him have his guy. I don't care. And, and then, you know, the question of Kyle Smith, and I, I say this all the time, we suffer from ash burners. The guy was here with the old regime, right? Um, why, if he is such this – if he's this personality that that demands to be a general manager, why didn't he get any interviews? Why didn't he get any requests? Why weren't why weren't weren't they reporting on that? That's a big question, right? Maybe he doesn't know how to transcend all different departments or work with all types of people. Maybe he needs to learn that from an ace in the hole, Marty Herney. And um, you know, I I think that this I think Ron has his guy in here who could take all alleviate a little stress off of him. Um so, th th like I said, you got to play wait and see with this. Um, this is about getting better. I know people are saying we, we're Carolina of the North, but if Carolina of the North is better than Tampa of the no North, I ain't complaining. Um, you know, Kyle Smith, I think he's going to be here. I don't think this is going to change his status. He might be unhappy. Good. It may, may be motivated. Maybe, maybe Ron Rivera is the emperor, right? And Kyle Smith is Luke. Oh, no, he's like Darth Vader, right? He's like, good Lord Vader, use the dark side. Become talent, ev talent evaluator. Yeah, I mean, that could be it. But, um, you know, I, I, like I said, I, I'm not, I don't have a, a, a big issue with this. And it's a Marty party. Uh, shout out to Ed Oliver for referencing that. I appreciate that, brother. Um, but. You know, I think everything that we're worried about with um, Marty Herney is because of things that he had total control over, final say over. He won't have that final say. Ron Vera has that final say. Um, so we just need to sit back, relax, have a Coke, smile, as always. Um, but y'all tell me what you think. Uh, do you like this hire? Do you hate it? Um, I don't know what you think, but... Uh, tell me what you're thinking in the comments. Y'all know I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Uh, don't forget that I will be on here for championship, the final four uh, championship Sunday in the NFL, starting at about 3 o'clock like I did on Sunday, and live streaming to see who will go to Tampa. 
to Super Bowl 54 in, in a couple of weeks. So, yeah, so tell me that. I love you guys. Um, I hope to see you there. Uh, I'm Sanchez405. I love you guys. Thank you for everything you're doing to help this channel out, help this channel grow. Uh, as always, love, peace, and hell. And I'll be talking to you real soon. Guess what? I'm out!